and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I've really never done anything like this before, but we are desperate for help. So, this is our current state of affairs. It's very windy today. So our house is about five years old, and when we first moved in, everything was great. Nice new lawn. And then the first winter came along and we noticed that it was flooding in the winter and we didn't have a clue why. Um, I've, I've done lots of research, uh, looking into what it could possibly be. After the second year, we realised that there was a serious problem. Now we're back onto this field here. And originally what we thought was that the water was coming down off the field, uh, running into the garden and flooding it basically but that's not what's happened so we've had a really bad problem with crane fly which are um, called leather jackets so basically a daddy long legs in Yorkshire we call them like flying spidery things with long legs that pull off anyway no one knows where they come from until there's a problem with them so basically what happened with those is they decided that because the ground conditions were perfect for them breeding because it was so wet that they'd come and lay eggs in the lawn so the lawn died like for the last five years I've had to have a new lawn laid because they just laid all their eggs they turn into like little tiny black caterpillars about that big and they just eat everything inside they've eaten all my plants grass everything so Obviously, as the years went by, we started saving money because we knew that we'd need to do something about this situation because we could only use the garden for like three or four months a year if it didn't rain. So in April, we decided to finally go ahead and do it. Um, put French drains in to get rid of this water. When the guy came to dig up the garden, at the corner here where these baskets are, we noticed a spot of water and in April it didn't rain all month so the ground was fairly dry so that's why we had him to come dig it up. He dug it up and we noticed a little patch almost. Not, not It wasn't full of water but there was like a little wet patch and I thought my little boy had spilled a can of coke uh, or water or something like that and he hadn't so we dug a hole and I'd always had a feeling that there was some sort of like water under the ground and when we dug a hole it filled with water even though it hadn't rained for a month and the ground water level was really low so then we drug lots of test holes all down here all down here and it turns out we've got a seep spring so there's no particular point that this spring comes up it basically just comes up all around this area to this center drain which we've installed here all along here around this edge and every time you dig a hole it comes up now we've had four drains put in. So the first one goes here, 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 and then here. So we've had to put the drains under these gabion baskets because that's where the water started coming out. And obviously we didn't want any problems with this retaining wall that's going to hold this dry stone wall back. We didn't want any problems with the baskets moving or it not actually being a retaining wall because it was full of water. Um, because there was so much of it so we've had to put the drains to start under the baskets and we've put like a concrete lintel over the top and stuff that's the story for another day anyway um this here we've just fitted well husbanded in the last couple of weeks and what we thought was because every time you dig a hole in this area water comes up what we thought was we dig the clay level down like this but also on a slope like that so the clay layer underneath, when the water rises, will drain down like that and then down there. And then what we've had to do is dig an emergency channel because this was filling so much with water. This is an emergency channel to try and get the water to go away. So this drain here is higher than what we've had to dig here because of the foundation level. So the water, it is actually working. The water is, seems to be underneath this terrain which separates the layers is running down here and it's coming out of this foundation. So at the minute, I've got the hose pipe attached on a siphon to the bottom of this channel to drain the water. 
Um, I've, I'm, I'm having to do this probably about five times a day because as soon as the water disappears, it's filling straight back up again with water. But the problem we've got is we've we had a French drain in between obviously researching what we were going to do. We already had a French drain fitted and the person that fitted it wrapped a pipe and made a bed with gravel. And what happened was all the soil migrated into the gravel and it blocked the drain. So this French drain never worked. So when we've been doing this research on how to do it properly, we decided we were going to do it as cells because obviously we would do a better job and nobody loves my garden more than I love my garden. So the best course of action apparently is to buy non-woven geotextile fabric, which is this. You then wrap your, see if I can get it open, you wrap your gravel, I'm not even going to bother opening that, you wrap, um, you put gravel on the bottom, basically it's like a, a burrito wrap is what they call it in America, so you wrap this fabric in the ditch, gravel, and then there's a four inch perforated pipe all the way down in all these down here, Fill backfill with gravel, cover your tiram over and the water percolates through. It stops everything inside getting blocked up with the terram and then after that you should be good to go. Now for the first few months it was absolutely fine and I didn't want to go and buy a load of really expensive topsoil. Can't believe how expensive actual soil is but I didn't want to go and put a load of it on the top just in case this didn't work and as it happens it's a good job we didn't because as you can see it doesn't. So I have tried and tried and tried to try and find the best course of action for this so all the videos that I've seen there's people saying you don't use fabric you do use fabric fabrics the best uh, loads of examples on YouTube of people sim simulating these drain pipes with fabric without fabric in in like clear like boxes so you can actually see what happens but they don't tell you why and they don't explain what happens and why people don't use fabric because the problem that we have now got as you can clearly see is this fabric is now blocked so as you can see there look so when i've been researching apparently we have something oh it's starting to rain now which is great apparently we've got something called dispersive clay and every time it rains clay moves out of the soil and it brushes up against the terram and it's blocking the terram now this stuff is called terram t1000 i think and basically if you've got dispersive clay the clay moves it moves with the water up against that fabric and it blocks that fabric so it stops it from getting into the pipe at all. So now we've got the same problem basically. Instead of the gravel being blocked and getting into the pipe, the outside of the drain is now blocked and inside isn't that bad. So this isn't a great situation because obviously I just need this water to go away. So I'll show you what happens to the clay. So this is spring water. So just ignore all this powder on the bottom. It's just from when we've been moving the hardcore in and out but and this might be a bit bit of a better part so if I just drop this stone and you'll see what dispersive clay is so it's all settled on the bottom and if you drop a stone in if it explodes like a little mini volcano basically you've got dispersive clay like this So, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do because I thought that putting T1000 or whatever it is over the gravels was the right thing to do, but it's clearly not. So, the water level was up to here about 20 minutes ago. I'm just literally bringing it out here. But I honestly don't know what to do because the fabric is getting blocked by the clay and it's only happened after about four months, not like five years. So I don't want to be doing all this again, filling the garden and having to do all this again. I never want to do it again in my life, but I need to get rid of this water. Now, the drains are, are working, they do work, but they're not quick enough. And obviously, 
the first that it fit, it was absolutely pouring down here. So the water is coming all into this central pipe here. And when we first had it installed, there is literally a stream in the garden and it's torrentially coming out. It worked fine, but as the months have gone on and this fabric's got more and more blocked, it's got slower and slower and slower. Now it is working, and I'll show you that now. So the plan is to have, this is all gravel here where I'm walking, and then the gravel disappears. And here, we're gonna have a solid pipe down here. But because I want to redo all these drains now, we aren't bothered putting one in. So we've just still lined it and the water's coming down here. Now it's draining to the back of this wall. Now there is a pipe in the bottom of this wall, and the water is going away absolutely fine down here. But at the minute, obviously, there's a little bit standing because I'm just draining like masses of water. But as you can see, this is the water. So there is actually a little stream, which I never wanted. This is the hose pipe that I've got connected. As you can see, it's draining all that water. So the drains are working. They're just not fast. And as time goes on, this is going to get slower and slower and slower, and then it's not going to work at all. So I would love for somebody somewhere to tell me what on earth we do. I've, I've been reading uh, geotechnical information and civil engineering books, all sorts of stuff. And what they've said is it's something called geotextile blinding. And that's when the clay is getting stuck on the top of this and blocking it up. Now, I have read things that says after a few months, the soil here and the fabric creates its own barrier. And as it butts up to this fabric, after a few months, it settles down and it will create its own barrier so the water can still filter through. However, it's not. And theoretically speaking, it's not going to change the way the water gets gets through regardless of if the fabric is blocked or not because it's still got to go through a clay layer before it gets into this fabric but this like I say when it was first fitted absolutely pouring through and it's just slowed and slowed and slowed and I know for a fact if I bury all this now I'm just gonna have to dig it all up again which isn't happening so I need a solution I'm not quite sure what to do about it. This is the Taram T1000, which we don't have any kind of different sort of like punch things, but this is non woven geotextile. This is the proper stuff. It cost me about £300, which is a lot of money for some people the fabric. And as you can see, it's just got like thousands and thousands of little holes in. It's fab stuff if you've not got clay soil. The only thing I thought that potentially might work was to relay these drains and put a sand layer all around the fabric, but apparently that isn't always a solution. So if anyone can help me with this absolute nightmare, you'll have to excuse all the junk because we're building these baskets and the whole garden is literally filled with dry stone to do these baskets, but I'll do a separate video for that, so look out for that. If anyone can help me, I will be at your debt forever. We are going to need to also put a separate pipe in here because as you can see the water's coming up here as well so we've put some plastic down to try and stop the mud and stuff but it's still far too wet in this patch here. We are getting some drainage off this field still but it shouldn't matter because these drains should be working to take the water away and they're not. So I would be very grateful as I say if anyone can help us try and fix this and knows what to do. Gravel, sand, geotextile, no geotextile, a, a, another pipe, a surface water pipe maybe, but the water, like I say, is coming from underground. I'm really not sure what to do. I'm just slowly giving up now because I thought this would work. And after all these years of all this research, all this money spent on this absolutely horrendous project, for it not to work is absolutely soul destroying. So please help and I'm willing to try anything at this point. Also, if you want to travel to Yorkshire and tell me what to do, secondly, that would be a great idea and you can come and tell me. Thank you very much. Speak soon. Bye.